So the question is how to get out of a fixed annuity. Hi, I'm Stan the Annuity Man, America's annuity agent, licensed in all 50 states, including the beautiful one you're sitting in. You know, the obvious answer to that question is how do you get out of a fixed annuity? The easy answer is die. But that's not a very good strategy and it's, it's certainly not replicable, right? So you could die. You're supposed to be laughing. Come on, laugh with me. Hey, hang in there, listen to this music. We're getting ready to rock and roll. So how do you get out of a fixed annuity? I love it when people use the word annuity as all encompassing. There's so many different types. So let's just look at the fixed annuity types. There's single premium immediate annuities, deferred income annuities, qualified longevity annuity contracts. Then there's multi-year guarantee annuity, the annuity in this version of a CD. There's fixed indexed annuities. All of those are considered fixed annuities. So getting out of those depends on what type you're in. Let's get to the point of which ones can you never get out of because they're irrevocable because they're a pension. Single premium immediate annuities, deferred income annuities, and qualified longevity annuity contracts are in essence pension annuities. It's like ripping the knob off a water faucet. The water is flowing, the income is flowing. You can't pivot and call me up and say, when we bought this deferred income annuity and getting the income stream, I don't want to do it anymore, send me the money. You can't. So SPIAs, DIAs, and QLACs, that's the acronyms, you cannot get out of those. So what we're gonna talk about are the multi-year guarantee annuities, the fixed indexed annuities, which are the primary fixed annuity types that you can get your money out. So how can I get my money out of an annuity without penalty when we're talking about multi-year guarantee annuities and fixed index annuities? I mean, you can get your money out, you can just cash it out, but how do you do it without penalty? Most of those contracts allow you to take a specific percentage out annually without any penalty. Fixed index annuities typically allow 10% annually you can take out. Now, multi-year guarantee annuities is a little bit different. Every contract's a little bit different, but most do allow you to take some money out, whether it's interest, penalty-free, or if it's 5% or 10% of the annual amount of the value, you can take out penalty-free. You just have to understand the policy. You have to tell me exactly what you want to happen and the type of liquidity provision that you want in place. You know, this is kind of emergency money. Hey, Stan, I'm going to buy this indexed annuity, or hey, Stan, I'm going to buy this multi-year guarantee annuity. I'm not planning on taking money out, but there might be a situation that I might need it. What are the provisions? Like I said, with indexed annuities, typically it's 10% annually. Not all, but typically most of them are 10% annual. With multi-year guarantee annuities, you have to check them. And on our MIGA feed at theannuityman.com, we have a live uh, feed of the best MIGA rates for your specific state. Just put in your state and the duration. Within that feed, we'll show whether they allow you to take out 10% or whether they allow you to take out 5% or whether they allow you to take out interest or a combination of, or there are some, there are a handful that don't allow you to take any money out during that surrender charge time period with MIGA. So, once again, you know, the word annuity doesn't explain everything. And once again, not all contracts and policies are the same, but with multi-year guarantee annuities and fixed index annuities, they typically allow you to take money out penalty-free on an annual basis. So how can you get out of an annuity? If you purchase it through me, like if you purchase an indexed annuity or a multi-year guarantee annuity, you just call me up and say, Stan, send me the money, I hate you. That's fine, I'll send it to you. No problem, it's your money, you control it, you do what you wanna do. But before you do that, before you pull the trigger of cashing that money in and getting out totally, I'm missing this market growth, I need my money back, you need to be real careful. You need to first understand, are there surrender charges and what are those surrender charges going to be when you fully cash out? You have to know that up front before you make that decision. I can certainly help you with that. Even if I didn't sell you a new horror, but even if I didn't, you can send me that policy and I can help you with it. Be more than happy to do that. But also, here's the big one. When people call me up and say, and I had a call the other day, Stan, I'm going to sell my index annuity. Yes, you told me he's getting CD returns. That's exactly what it's doing. I bought it for the income rider for future income guarantees. But I want to cash it in and go be market maven, Johnny Stock Market, Gordon Gecko, greed is good, all that stuff, right? Understand that the income rider guarantee that you purchased does not cash in. You're going to leave that amount on the table. So yes, it's your money, you can cash it in, you can pivot, you can get your money back, you can pay the surrender charge, whatever you want to do. But go slow, and I'm going to try to slow your game down a little bit so that you understand the ramifications, the annuity ramifications, the ARs, as they say, or as I say, if you do that. 
just so you understand, if I cash in this index new with the income rider, I'm only going to get the accumulation value. I'm not going to get that income rider value. As long as you understand that, as long as you understand you're going to leave that on the table, cash it out. We'll send you the paperwork, cash it out. But you need to hold and go slow before you make that emotional decision. So how do you get out of a fixed annuity type like a multi-year guarantee annuity or a fixed index annuity? Just to go backwards, remember, single premium immediate annuities, deferred income annuities, qualified longevity annuity contracts, you, know, you can't cash out. Those are irrevocable lifetime income pension products. But with multi-year guarantee annuities and fixed index annuities, let's just go through the scenario that what you purchase them through us or someone else. How's that work? Okay, let's just go through, if you purchase it through the annuity man and you wanna cash out, that's fine. Okay, you're gonna cash out. We've gone through the good and the bad, the details and the surrender charges and if you're gonna leave any benefits on the table with the rider and you say, yes, I still wanna move forward. Great, that's fine, it's your money. You can make that decision. What happens then is I get my administrative team, which, oh, by the way, the best on the planet. I hired the best, they're smart. They've forgotten more than most people will ever know about annuities. They will handle it for you. Uh, they will send you the paperwork that you have to sign and date and get back to us that says, yes, I want to fully surrender this contract. We'll take that paperwork. We'll work with our contacts at the specific annuity carrier. We'll get in the mud for you and get in the weeds for you. You do not have to do that. We'll do that for you. And then you can expect a check in your hands, typically around two weeks. Could be more than that. We're going to push like hell. Excuse my French. We're going to do the best we can for you, but it's typically about a two week time period. If it happens sooner, we want to take all the credit, of course, but we're just giving you a heads up. So when you're cashing it in, typically from the start to finish, from the time that you get the paperwork back to us, it's about a two week time period to where the money is in your hands. So how do you get out of a fixed annuity like a multi-year guarantee annuity or a fixed index annuity? Another question that I ask you is why? Why are you pivoting? Now, if you say market growth, I want to go be a stock market maven, then fine. I mean, there's no real good answer to that. Go do it. Go knock yourself out, right? But if you bought an annuity that you aren't happy with, or you were sold a bill of goods, or were sold the sizzle and you now own the steak, you were sold the dreams and now you realize you own the contractual realities, obviously that's not going to happen with me because I'm going to start there. <laughs> but let's just say you bought it from someone else, you say, you know, they told me it's going to do this and this and this, and it doesn't do this. How do I move it or how do I get out of that? You can do what's called a 1035 exchange in a non-IRA setting. 1035 is the IRS code, 1035, that says you can transfer from one annuity to another using the 1035 provision, and it's a non-taxable event. Let me give you an example. I got a call the other day. Guy bought an indexed annuity, had no writers on, just an indexed annuity, and was promised the world, was promised these back-tested returns, and it didn't happen. It's a CD product, and it just wasn't working out. And I said, well, you know, you could always just transfer it into a multi-year guarantee annuity and have a guaranteed interest rate, and he did that. We just did a 1035 exchange. Uh, fortunately, that uh, index annuity that he had was out of surrender charges, and we just transferred it from the index annuity to the multi-year guarantee annuity. Another call I got recently was a person that you know, bought the index annuity and said, you know, it's done okay, but I kind of need a lifetime income stream. So what we did is we contacted the index annuity company that he's currently at and said, run an immediate annuity quote for his life only, and let's see what that is. We took that number and then we quoted all immediate annuity carriers to find the highest contractual guarantee, and we found one that actually beat where he was at, so he did a 1035 transfer into that immediate annuity. By the way, when you move from one annuity to another, whether it's IRA to IRA or 1035 exchange with non-IRA annuities, in the application process, we have to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the annuity that you're coming from to the annuity that you're going to. And it has to be in your mathematical favor, not the agent's, your mathematical favor to move from the annuity that you're at to the new annuity, okay? So just because you can transfer, it doesn't mean we will or we will go forward with that. We'll have to run the comparison numbers and make sure you're getting the highest contractual guarantee. Hey, I encourage you to book a call with me. Go to my site at theannuitymancom at the top left-hand corner of that home page, you can book a call with me one-on-one. -on -one, we'll go over the annuity that you're looking at getting out of, and I'll tell you the facts about that. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next Stan the Annuity Man video.